Father in heaven. Holy is your name. We welcome your kingdom here on earth to reign. Give us what we need today. Forgive us for our mistakes Help us not to go the wrong way We forgive all others who have heard Temptation Deliver us from evil You are Hi kids, it's Miss Kelly, and I'm so excited to be back with you for another Sunday School lesson. Today, we're on week three of learning about the Lord's Prayer. Let's first review what we've learned the last two weeks. We learned, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Today, we're learning the part of the Lord's Prayer that comes from Matthew 6 through 11. Give us today our daily bread. Jesus was teaching his friends that we can ask God to provide for our needs. Let's remember each other. Let's remind each other of this part of the prayer by praying, Dear God, thank you for giving us everything that we need, including our daily bread. Thanks for taking care of us. It feels good to be loved. Amen. Sometimes we complain about things or grumble. Uh, there's certain things that might make us complain more than others. And I'm going to read through a list of a few things that might make you want to complain. 
And if there's something that's going to make me complain, I'm going to bang on this pot and pan. Like, if my sister ate the last piece of cake, I wanted to eat the cake. Why did you eat the cake? It was my cake. Or the teacher gave me extra homework tonight. So mad. I didn't want to do homework. I wanted to play outside tonight. My dad grounded me from video games for a whole week. Not happy about that. I wanted to play video games. It's fun and I like doing it. And I don't want to be grounded. My mom signed me up for ballet class, but I wanted to play soccer. Don't want to do ballet. I'm very mad. Sometimes it's easy to complain when things aren't going our way, but it doesn't always sound very nice. It's not really very pleasant to be around someone who's complaining or whining. Sometimes we hear our siblings or our friends complaining and it just makes us want to cover our ears because we don't want to hear them complaining. We can be upset when we can't have things that we want or, or need. In our Bible story today, we're going to learn about some people who did a lot of complaining, but we're going to learn a better way to show when we're upset when we don't have something that we want or need. We're going to learn that we can ask God to provide for our needs. Last week, we learned what Jesus meant when he said, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So this week, we're learning the next part of the Lord's Prayer, which says, give us today our daily bread. When Jesus's friends heard this, it reminded them of a special time in their nation's history. And we're going to take a look at that special time. Our Bible story comes from two books in the Bible, Numbers 11 and Exodus 16 through 17, verse 6. God's people had been slaves in Egypt, and their leader, Moses, led them out of Egypt. Before they left, they baked some bread to eat on the way. God told them to leave in a hurry because the Egyptians were going to come after them. They had a long way to travel to get to the good place where God wanted them to live. But when they got there, they'd been traveling so long that they ran out of all their food and they were so hungry. They'd been traveling for so long and they just wanted to eat. How do you think they felt when they realized they were all out of food? You guessed it. They began to grumble. They were so mad. They didn't know why they'd even bothered to leave Egypt. They told Moses they'd rather return to being slaves. They remembered all the food in Egypt and they wished that they were still there, even if it meant they would be slaves again, because at least they would be able to eat. God heard the people grumble. God was not happy about their complaining, but he loved them and he knew that they needed food. God had Moses tell the people to go to sleep and when they woke up, they would see that God could provide for their needs. So they all went to sleep. When they woke up, the ground was covered with a special type of bread. The Israelites called the bread manna. The manna was a little bit sweet, it kind of had a little bit of a honey taste. And the people were so happy with their new food for a while. Then they began to get tired of eating the same food the week in and week out. If you think about it, you know, some days we might have granola for breakfast, and that's good, one day. And then maybe the next day we have some mini muffins for breakfast. Those are good too. And then another day, maybe we have eggs or we have waffles or cereal. But what if you had to eat the same thing every single day? You might get a little bit grumbly too. They wanted different foods, just like we do. Moses was upset. The people were complaining again, and Moses didn't have any food to give them. There were thousands and thousands of Israelites. 
How could he give them the meat that they were asking to eat? What did Moses do? He prayed to God. He told God about the people's complaining and he asked God to provide for their needs. God sent a flock of quail to the camp. Quail is like chicken. The people caught the quail, cooked them, and ate them. Yay! God had provided for their needs again. You would have thought that the people would have learned that they had asked God to provide for all of their needs. After all, God had provided them with the manna, and he'd provided them with the quail. But they didn't remember this lesson very long. Moses led them to a different part of the desert. In this part of the desert, there wasn't any water. When the water that they brought with them ran out, they began to grumble. The people were so upset that Moses thought they might kill him. We want water. <sighs> what did Moses do this time? You guessed it. Moses prayed to God to provide their need for water. God told Moses to strike a large rock with his staff. What a strange thing for God to say. You can't get water out of a rock. However, Moses trusted God to provide for his needs. So Moses did what God asked and water poured out of the rock. Moses knew to ask God to provide for all of their needs and God provided. God loves to take care of our needs. God loves his people. The Israelites didn't need to complain. God wasn't about to let them starve. We don't need to be worried or to complain in order to have our needs met. God promises to provide for our daily needs. All we have to do is ask. And Jesus taught us what to say. Give us today our daily bread. Let's take a minute to think about something that we need for God to provide. I'll give you just a little bit of time to think about what you might need for God to provide for you. Now I'm gonna pray and I'm gonna pause. And when I pause, you silently pray for what you need God to provide for you. Dear God, we have many things that we need you to provide for us. Thanks so much for loving us and wanting to provide for our needs. We will ask you for everything that we need. Right now, we ask you to provide Give us today our daily bread. Amen. Kids, I had so much fun teaching you today, and I hope you learned that God will provide for our needs. Some of you will probably be back in church next week on October 4th, and the teachers are looking forward to seeing you. Miss Cindy can't wait to see you and to be able to be together, all gathered together. I hope you have a great week. I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh